channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do my own acrylic nails here in the comfort of my own home, honey. That's right. I can honestly say that I have not been to a nail salon ever since COVID. Not because like I'm afraid to go, but I've been doing my own nails here at home and I am loving it, y'all. It's easy, affordable, it's convenient. So yes, if you have not already, go check out the video where I did my own acrylics over quarantine for the very first time. I will link that video down below in the description box for you guys. In that last video, I was reading you all's comments and you guys were giving me so many helpful tips. So yes, grab into my homework or whatever. It's taking y'all's tips and whatnot. And since then, I have gotten like 10 times better at doing my own acrylic nails here at home. Here's what the nails look like, you guys. They're so cute. I did like a cute coffin shape. I don't wanna do too much talking. Let's get right into this video. Mm -hmm you guys so I'm just gonna start off by showing you all the things you'll need to do your nails so here in front of me I have some clear acrylic powder that I purchased from Valentino nails um, I also have some clear nail tips that I picked up from Sally's Beauty Store I have a nail file a nail clipper a nail buffer also an acrylic nail brush oh my goodness this is a lot of stuff y'all I have some young nails acrylic monomer and then I have an acrylic monomer dish I also purchased a nail drill off of, or sorry, it's by Melody Susie, and I purchased it off of Amazon. And then I have a bottle of alcohol and then some um, nail primer that is by Kiss, drugstore brand, super affordable and super good. Also, I have some polishes that I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. These are not gel polishes. These are just regular polishes. Um, but yes, I love the brand OPI. Their nail polishes last a very long time. But I'm starting off by spraying my nails off with some alcohol. This is just going to remove any oil or dirt so that the nails won't lift over time. And then next, I'm just going to size each finger for the fake nail tips, um, basically seeing which nail tip fit which nail. And then I'm going to glue them down with the glue that was provided in the nail kit okay and then next you just want to take the nail clipper and cut the nails down to your desired length and then I'm gonna go in with the kiss nail primer and just apply this on the base of my natural nail once again to ensure that there is no lifting the next thing you want to do is grab your little clear glass dish or whatever dish you have and pour your acrylic monomer into the dish. I'm dipping my acrylic brush in there and then I am kind of, I don't know how to explain this you guys, I'm really bad at explaining things, but I'm kind of draining off the excess liquid and then I'm just going to hold the tip of my brush down in the acrylic powder until you see that little ball um, and you'll know when the acrylic is ready for you to apply it on your nails because... I don't know it's just it won't be too liquidy but it also won't be too dry it'll just go on like butter honestly um, and like I said I have mastered this technique a little bit better since my last acrylic nail video that I filmed um, and it's really just all about the brush you guys like if you guys compare this video to my last one you can just tell the growth girl you can just tell that I like upgraded my brush and really that's it I'm still using the same product still using the same monomer the same acrylic it's just I picked up a different brush and this is from Sally's I'm not sure what um, what brand this is by but I will insert a little clip like right here in the lower right hand corner just so you guys can you know purchase this brush if you are interested but yes girl this was so easy and it took me like I'm gonna say maybe 30 minutes to finish my nails um, but of course the video is sped up to save time but yes it was super duper easy and the nails look bomb so right here I'm like out of frame and I don't even know, but I'm basically just filing my nails. I did a coffin shape. Um, and now I'm going in with my Melody Susie nail drill that I purchased from Amazon. And I have it on um, a 10, number 10, which is the speed. And I'm just going to buff back and forth just to get the nails a little smooth. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock, my wrist going nuts Niggas probably be slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block, up, I tell you who's up Man, I house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep it Well, 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 well 
Okay, you guys, so we are almost done, but next I'm just gonna take the buffer and buff the nail just so the nail polish goes on flawlessly. And I'm gonna be polishing my nails using this OPI nail polish that I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. Um, it's this beige color. I will link the actual shade name in the description box because I don't know off the top of my head right now. Um, but yes, I'm going to be applying two coats of this nail polish to the nails, and then I'm gonna go in with the OPI clear coat. I was in the South Service Court, came in, been the same thing. Granted, she was standing right down while I catch a plane on the brick. I made them little niggas go hey, man, I tell them, man, when this bitch. I'd have been down back in them trenches, had to ride that shit. Who gave you pills? Who gave that ass a pill? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. I love them. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And as always, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, girl, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss a another bitsy. Oh, honey. Thanks for watching, and I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.